All right, while I had a minute, I figured I'd make a quickie. This is the inside of a SGC 231 smart tuner that was uh, connected backward power-wise and left that way for quite a while on a long cable. So there was a high impedance fault. Couldn't blow the fuse, but it did trash it. So I just uh, used my handy dandy PLCC extractors to swap the CPU chip right here um, with one from another unit of mine and now it looks like this unit is up and running but I wanted to show you we've got this coil of wire right here which I picked up at uh, TRW for I don't know two bucks whatever hooked up between the ground and the output just kind of stuck it there nothing special was done we are going to send it some 160 meter carrier about five watts and I want you to see what happens when this thing's tuning. So if you watch the banks of relays here, you should see them switching the coils and caps. Let's see what happens here. I hope it tunes. Yep. Oh, there you go. That just tuned up on 160 meters with uh, an SWR of flat. Not bad. Let's uh, change bands here. Let's go up to, I don't know, 40 meters. It's kind of a big coil of wire, so I don't want to go too crazy on this. But um, again, just sending a 5 watt carrier here. There you go. Absolutely flat SWR once again. So with this device and its tuning network at the antenna, because your coaxial input's here, so you have a 50 ohm match down your line to the radio. The line barely radiates anything. You can still put a choke on it. But whatever you connect to the output terminal, or usually this uh, terminal here, between that and a counterpoise here, or a loop or in this case, or whatever, it will radiate as efficiently as possible. Not saying that it's always going to work out to where you can have a gangbuster signal, but pretty darn neat units. I highly recommend them.